So what I would like to do now is uh, bring up John Harris, who's a user experience evangelist for Microsoft UK. And John is going to actually take you through a quick demonstration of building a uh, very similar Windows Presentation Foundation uh, application using Express and Studio. Tools. Highlights um, and something called visual brushes. I'll show you what those are, how you can leverage those to produce fantastic uh, applications, great looking applications. So, the application we're going to use to, to highlight that is actually one of the ones we'll build later in uh, one of the sessions at the keynote. Very simple application. It just allows you to resize some of the areas here with the graphics and bring in images. And like I said, we'll that is almost a visual companion to Visual Studio. So designers use Blend, developers use Visual Studio. And I can draw a shape here. And traditionally, being a designer, if I wanted to, to paint that, I'd grab a paintbrush and, and color it. What a visual brush allows me to do is to literally grab an area of my application, such as this piece down here, and turn that into a paintbrush, and literally paint that onto the surface of an object. So it's very, very powerful. So to do that, I come up to my tools menu, and I choose make a visual brush. Now the nice thing about visual brushes is they remain live the whole time. So any change gets sort of reflected. So that was 2D. What about 3D? So I'll just delete that for a second. Down here I've actually got a 3D model that I just have hidden. So I'll just make that visible. And it's, you know, there's nothing on that surface uh, at the moment. Just to, to prove that it is really uh, 3D, I can drill down into uh, all of the content here, and I can select that 3D object and rotate it and do all the usual things. Now, the fill color there is a little bit boring. So again, being a designer, I can come right down into here and see the individual objects. I can select those objects, and then I can actually paint my application onto that 3D object. I come down here, there's my brush again, and I just painted it onto that 3D object. We'll do it on the top object as well, and we'll just paint on that object. And obviously now when I go into test the application, that will all remain live on here as well. So as I choose the images, it just slides over, changes, we've got the rollover effect there, but now it's on 3D. So that's great. We talk a lot about video. So how does, how does video work in this environment? So again, we'll just come in here, we'll choose make visual brush, <coughs> okay. And now when I choose my 3D object, we'll just do the, in fact, we'll do both of them. Come to properties, come to material. There's my new brush with the video embedded in there. Do the one line underneath. And we'll just test that. So we've brought in a, a video, a WMB file. We're playing it now in its natural 2D environment. We're stretching it across 3D as well. So it's a great visual way for designers to work. They don't have to do any code, work entirely visually. <coughs> Obviously, you can add interactivity to this uh, as well. So here's uh, another very, very simple example. We'll have a look at uh, a good example uh, uh, in a minute. But here's one with some uh, interactivity. Just uh, turn the audio on for this. So I've got some music playing. And then as I move my mouse over the screen, the music cuts out and we get the video playing. Or the music, or the video, or the music, or the video. And I double click on the screen, it sort of just fades in and it comes up there and animates. So very interactive, very visual, great effects, and the music. So. <laughs>